Good evening my friends, happy Wednesday. Today is the 19th of May and it is my nephew Caleb's 14th birthday today and uh, I've had a lovely afternoon celebrating with him. I treated him to a trip to a local lolly shop where we both uh, spent kind of big. As his birthday present I gave him uh, $50 to spend and he spent pretty much all of it. <laughs> um, you know, as a 14 year old kid would do. That was the whole point of it. His present from me was a trip to the lolly shop where he could buy whatever he wanted. So yeah, it was a really great afternoon uh, spending that with him. He is my first nephew. He is the guy that made me an auntie. Um, so yeah, he's pretty cool. So uh, today I thought I'd just do a little lolly shop haul for you. I did pick up quite a lot of things. I'm not going to eat all of these all at once. These will sort of be spaced out possibly over the next year or something. I don't know, but there's a lot in here. The store that we went to, it's called, oh you can't really see, it's called Lollies and Stuff. And the one that we go to is in Windsor. The staff there are really, really nice, really friendly. It's a beautiful store and there's so much stuff in there. It's amazing. There's like a whole wall of just pick and mix and it makes me so happy. It's one of the first times that I've been there that I didn't get any bigger mix. I usually always do because there's just so much variety but this time I just went with packet things. So let's see what I've got in my little goodie bag. Let's start off with a couple of blocks of chocolate. I've got everyone's favourite uh, Kit Kat. I love a good Kit Kat. It's always great to take a break. Isn't that what their slogan is? Have a break, have a Kit Kat. That's their motto. Then this one I've actually never seen it before. I picked it up because it was very pink and I think it's really cool. I think it's white chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. It's a New Zealand brand. It's called Whitaker's and it's a hundreds and thousands white chocolate bar. I just got it because it's like pink and it's really pretty. I've had Whitaker's chocolate before and it's really, really nice. And I actually really do like white chocolate. I know white chocolate is uh, not for everyone. Not everybody likes it, but... I like all kinds of chocolate, so I can't wait to see what that's all about. I picked up a couple of my favourite M&Ms. The first one is M&Ms Fudge Brownie. We don't have these in Australia, or like they're not like readily available in our supermarkets. So um, yeah, every time I go to this lolly shop, I always pick up a packet because they're my favourite. They're so yummy. And then if you remember from... The time when I saw Hamilton a couple of weeks ago, I picked up a packet of peanut butter M&M's. They were amazing. They're so delicious. So I picked up a box because <laughs> they are so yummy. I got a couple of chocolate bars. I think these are from the UK. First one is a Dame bar. I've had these before, but in the little miniature versions from Ikea. If you don't know what it is, a Dame bar is like, it's like a just a plain chocolate bar with bits of hard caramel in it. Really, really nice. And then I picked up a Galaxy Ripple Bar. Never had one of these. I'm assuming they will be like what we have called a flake. Um, so it's like a, just a flaky type chocolate, I guess. That's what I'm assuming this is. So yeah. Oh, more chocolate. I also picked up some Reese's Pieces. I've actually been craving these. Uh, over the last couple of days. Can you kind of see like what I'm into at the moment? Chocolate and peanut butter. Just so delicious. I really do like Reese's Pieces. And these are actually becoming a lot more popular in Australia, which I'm very, very happy about. Next up are a couple of childhood favourites. First one being, I haven't actually had the Haribo version, but these ones are fizzy cola bottles. So these ones are like a sour tangy type gummy and they are so delicious and I remember getting lollies like this from the school canteen or tuck shop or what's another equivalent of a canteen it's like a little like lunch shop that you go to at school and you buy like food yeah, the canteen used to always sell those and then the other thing that the canteen used to always have in primary school and I haven't had these I think since I was a little girl in primary school and it's little oval teens Little oval teenies. Oh my gosh. 
So these, if you don't know what they are, they're like a little like chocolate malt type thing. Yeah, choc malt treats. So they're just like a little, like almost the size of an M&M. &M. And you just sort of either chew it or suck it. And it's like a choc malty type flavor. So good. I mean, even just like hearing them in the packet and feeling them, it's so nostalgic. I was so excited to try these again. They're just going to like take me right back to uh, being in primary school and playing outside at lunchtime with my friends and just oh, the good old times when life was just so easy, you know? <laughs> the other childhood treat that I got, I mean, I never got it in a box this big before. I was like, whoa, look how big it is. But it's nerds. I used to get the packets that were like half this size. And it was either the neon orange and grape, I think, or something like that. Um, and I used to always get them when we were on summer holidays up in our caravan. And yeah, so nerds always remind me of, again, when I was a little girl, life was sweet and easy. And I was away at the beach with my family and it was just so carefree and amazing. Again, a very cool, nostalgic sort of treat. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit worried about how big this is. Oh well. The last two things I have in my bag are things that I've never tried before, but I've always wanted to. First is a packet of Jelly Bellies, and this is Cold Stone Creamery flavors. I'm pretty sure we don't have Cold Stone Creamery in Australia, so this is very much an American type thing. I'm not a huge jelly bean fan, so I'm actually not really sure why I picked this up, but I was having a chat with Caleb about it, and uh, he's like, yeah, grab these ones. So it has five flavours, include chocolate, strawberry blonde, birthday cake remix, apple pie, and mint choc chip. So they sound delicious. Um, I thought they were all flavours that I, I'd like, so I think I'll definitely eat them. And then the last thing that I got were some goldfish. These ones. And I got them in the flavour of cheddar because I like like cheesy type biscuit type things. These aren't like available in Australia in normal supermarkets. So I thought I'd give them a go. They did have the original flavouring or packet there. They also had one that was parmesan. They also had a pretzel flavour one as well. But um, I like cheddar and I thought oh, we'll give them a go and and see what they're like. So yeah, that is my little lolly haul uh, from the lolly shop. I absolutely love this lolly shop and I take everyone there. I'm treating all of the kids for their birthdays a trip out to the lolly shop this year. It's like a thing that um, they get to do with auntie. So today I got to do that with Caleb and it was a, a really great afternoon just uh, driving over and and perusing uh, the shelves and seeing him all excited about things and and um, teaching him about sticking to a budget and learning how much he has to spend and not to overspend and to realize you know when to cut back or what his limits are and all that sort of stuff and then also going up to the register and paying for things it was a great day and yeah I'm happy so that's gonna be it for today just a really quick little haul. I did have a busy day today, you know, with Caleb and doing other things as well. So yeah, this is it for today. I'm sorry. Tomorrow I am hoping that I can get into some more of my Liberty petals. I have a little pile there that I want to finish. And then, yeah, maybe do a little bit more crochet. I'm still over the moon about how well I do with my little crochet square. I'm excited to, to make another one and try and do it. A better job. I'm back at work tomorrow so I think I might pick up a different ball of wool or yarn and see if it will make a little bit of a difference to to my loops and all the issues that I was having. But anyway, thank you for joining me today and watching my lovely little haul. I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye!